In the annals of cinematic history, All the President's Men, a 1976 film directed by Alan J. Pacula, stands as a compelling chronicle of investigative journalism at its zenith. A masterclass in tension and meticulous storytelling, the movie delves into the Watergate scandal, unraveling a political web that would forever alter the American landscape. As you reflect on this cinematic journey, consider, is there a specific scene or moment in all the president's men that has left an indelible mark on your perception of journalism or political intrigue? Or perhaps are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about the making of this film that pique your interest? Now let's uncover some intriguing details about the production. Did you know that Dustin Hoffman and Robert Redford, portraying the iconic journalistic duo of Carl Bernstein and Bob Woodward, adopted the actual reporter's mannerisms for authenticity? Their commitment to realism mirrored the dedication of the real-life journalists they portrayed. Intrigued, aren't you? Before we delve further, we're curious. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience tied to all the President's men? We invite you to share your stories and reflections in the comments below. Unraveling the layers of this cinematic gem reveals not just a narrative about the demise of a presidency, but also a testament to the power of the press. The film, adapted from the eponymous nonfiction book by Woodward and Bernstein, seamlessly captures the dogged pursuit of truth that defined an era. So, what other facets of this cinematic tale have captured your attention? Feel free to explore, reminisce, and share your thoughts. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Engage with the legacy of all the President's men and the stories it has woven into the fabric of your movie-watching experience. All the President's Men, directed by Alan J. Pacula in 1976, emerges as a gripping political thriller that chronicles the investigative efforts of journalist Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein, portrayed by Robert Redford and Dustin Hoffman, respectively. Based on the nonfiction book by Woodward and Bernstein, the film delves into the Watergate scandal, a watershed moment in American history that led to the resignation of President Richard Nixon. The narrative unfolds with meticulous attention to detail, capturing the duo's relentless pursuit of the truth amidst a web of political deceit and corruption. The film's unique style lies in its taut screenplay, which skillfully balances suspense and real-world gravitas. Redford and Hoffman's performances are iconic, breathing life into their characters and establishing a timeless template for investigative journalism on the silver screen. The movie's impact reverberates through popular culture, influencing subsequent political thrillers and cementing its status as a cinematic classic that resonates far beyond its initial release. The shadow of all the president's men continues to shape storytelling in both film and journalism, a testament to its enduring relevance and cultural significance. In a surprising turn of events off screen, the character dynamics in the 1976 political thriller were subtly influenced by real life incidents. For instance, Jason Robards Jr., who portrayed Ben Bradley, the executive editor of the Washington Post, took a unique approach to immerse himself in the role. Robards believed that Bradley should always be in the newsroom, contributing to the film's authentic atmosphere. Even on days without scheduled scenes, Robards would be found in Bradley's office, occupying the editor's desk and reading a book, ensuring Bradley's presence in background shots featuring Woodward, Bernstein, and the reporters. This dedication to maintaining the newsroom vibe, even when not on camera, underscores the commitment of the cast to capturing the essence of the relentless pursuit of truth depicted in the film. The decision by Robards adds a layer of authenticity to the portrayal of the newspaper environment, a crucial element in the narrative's credibility. Beyond the onset dedication, the movie's resonance with reality extends further. A notable incident involves Kenneth H. Dolberg, who, when contacted by Bob Woodward, claimed to have experienced a traumatic event his neighbor's wife being kidnapped. Astonishingly, this was not a fabricated excuse, but a factual event that occurred just days before Woodward's call. Dolberg's neighbor, Virginia Piper, had indeed been kidnapped from her Minneapolis home, adding a layer of unforeseen connection between the actor's dialogue and an actual crime. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes shed light on the intricate details, and commitment invested in bringing all the president's men to life. The blending of real-life occurrences with a scripted narrative adds a nuanced layer to the film's legacy, emphasizing its enduring impact on the portrayal of investigative journalism on the silver screen. This interplay between reality and fiction, be it Robards on set presence or the unintended connection to a real-life kidnapping, showcases the depth 
and authenticity that contribute to the film's lasting cultural significance. As we delve into these details, it becomes clear that All the President's Men goes beyond a scripted retelling. It encapsulates an era and a profession with a resonance that continues to shape storytelling in both film and journalism. Robert Redford's involvement in the making of the film All the President's Men extended beyond his on-screen portrayal of Bob Woodward. In a noteworthy connection to the real-life journalists, Redford had prior contact with Woodward and Bernstein before their book was written. Vanity Fair reported in April 2011 that Redford encouraged the duo to focus more on the intricacies of their investigative methods rather than solely on the reported events. This behind-the-scenes collaboration sheds light on the actor's commitment to portraying the essence of journalistic pursuit accurately. The film's conclusion adds a compelling dimension to its narrative. The closing scenes feature close-up shots of news articles being printed on a teletype, creating a sense of real-time transmission. The reports intentionally presented out of order span into 1975, culminating in the pivotal moment of August 197 President Nixon resigns. This unique storytelling technique not only underscores the breaking nature of each revelation, but also serves as a cinematic representation of the historical unfolding of the Watergate scandal. However, the production of All the President's Men faced its challenges. When filming wrapped, the project had exceeded its initial budget by $1.5 million and was 35 days behind schedule. Despite these setbacks, the film's ultimate success and enduring impact on storytelling in film and journalism attest to the resilience of the cast and crew in delivering a cinematic classic. In the intersection of reality and fiction, All the President's Men stands as a testament to the dedication invested in its creation. From Redford's collaboration with Woodward and Bernstein to the meticulous arrangement of news articles in the film's conclusion, every detail contributes to the authenticity that defines the movie's lasting cultural significance. As we wrap up this cinematic journey through the labyrinth of political intrigue and journalistic tenacity, let's take a moment to ponder the indelible impact of this 1976 masterpiece. All the President's Men, a riveting tale that transcends time, serves not merely as a celluloid narrative, but as a profound exploration into the essence of truth, courage, and the relentless pursuit of justice. As you navigate the corridors of this narrative labyrinth, you might find yourself reflecting on the parallels between the struggles of Woodward and Bernstein and the contemporary challenges we face. The echoes of investigative journalism ring loud, asking us to question, to delve deeper, to unearth the hidden truths that shape our world. Now it's your turn to step into the spotlight. Share with us your musings, your favorite moments, the scenes that etch themselves into your memory. Did the film awaken the dormant journalist within you? Or did it serve as a revelation about the intricate dance between power and accountability? Whatever the case, your thoughts weave into the rich tapestry of perspectives that make this cinematic experience truly timeless. As we part ways, I extend my sincere gratitude for embarking on this introspective journey with me. Your time and insights are the cornerstone of our shared exploration, a testament to the enduring power of storytelling to connect us across time and space. Until our next cinematic rendezvous, thank you for the privilege of your company, and remember, every perspective adds a layer to the narrative tapestry. Crafted with intrigue and gratitude, this reflection was.